Right, today we're going to do binomial expansion. We're just going to do a very simple one. We're going to expand 1 minus p to the power 5 up to the first form terms. So in order for us to expand this, we have to understand that this is power 5. So what we can do is that we write down we have 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2, and 5 choose 3. Okay, I'm going to put a plus dot 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 here because it means there are more terms but we are not going to deal with them because we are asked for the first four terms. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, power of 5 means we start with 5 and we always have to choose 0, choose 1, choose 2, choose 3 and then it goes on. Now, the first term here will always go into the first bracket. The second term here including the sign, so this is minus uh, negative p, right? So, we write this as negative p, we'll go to the second bracket. Next, in order to complete up the, uh, the expansion, so if this is 5 choose 0, so we will start 1 with the maximum power of 5, and this one will actually have the power of 0. The next one here will be 1 less, which is 4, but this one now becomes 1. Now to check, just add 4 to 1 and you get 5, so it must always add up to the exponent that you have here, right? So we have 3 and 2, 2 and 3. Now, all we have to do after this is just to simplify it. So, we have 5 choose 0 is actually 1. 1 to the power of 5 is 1. Anything to the power of 0 is also 1. Okay, and then you can use your calculator if you're not sure about this, but 5 choose 1 will also give you 5. 1 to the power of 4 is just 1. Negative p to the power of 1 is just negative p. Then you can press your calculator. 5 choose 2, this will give you 10. 1 to the power of 3 is again just 1. Now be careful here because this is negative p with a square. So in this case here, what we will have is that it becomes a positive p squared. And next we have 5 choose 3. So again you can press your calculator and you'll be able to get it as 10 again. 1 to the power of 2 is just 1. Negative p cubed. Uh, because this is an odd power, so this will be negative p. Alright? So I'm going to put a dot dot dot, so this means that it's going to go on. So all I have to do now is to tidy it up. So 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. When I multiply this together, it's just minus 5p. And after that, we will have plus 10p squared. And finally, we have minus 10p cubed. So there you have it. This is how you do an expansion.